you mentioned libertarians have some things to learn from the alt-right as far as um, about culture and um, and those things. I, I want to point out that that is one thing that um, Hans Hermann Hoppe himself has uh, spoken about and agreed with, uh, uh, is that libertarians do have some social critiques to learn uh, from the alt-right. And one thing that I hear a lot from the, uh, you call them Lulberts, I call them Cuptarians. <laughs> Uh, Either works, yeah. What one of, yeah. What one of the things that I uh, I hear a lot from the Cuctarians is like, oh, Hoppe makes fun of people like you. Hoppe disagrees with people like you, and it's like, no, no, he doesn't. He has he has publicly, you know, made speeches about this, um, saying that libertarian, as much as libertarians, or as much as the alt right has to learn about economics and things from libertarians, libertarians from the alt-right about social critiques and demographic trends and, and those such things. Yeah, absolutely. And it's really been a big mission of mine because a lot of people have a hard time categorizing things and compartmentalizing and discerning. And so what I've been trying to tell people for a long time is, look, libertarianism is purely a legal philosophy, a legal or political philosophy, okay? Libertarians... Being a libertarian only means that you recognize the private property ethic as being sound and universalizable, and you recognize the same with the NAP and self-ownership, period. It doesn't mean anything more above and beyond that. Uh, and for the alt-right, uh, to be alt-right means that you have a uh, affinity and preference to protect, preserve, and promote western values traditional western values uh, western civilization and white people as a race and so that's that's so basically the alt-right is purely a socio-cultural position and what this means is that though there might be there might happen to be a culture that's prevailing within libertarian circles that they uh, that many of them aesthetically uh prefer the culture itself that they prefer is not part of libertarianism itself. And likewise, even though there might be quite a few fascists or national socialists in the alt-right, those are political positions. And there's no consensus on the alt-right as far as endorsing a particular political position. Just like there's no consensus in libertarianism on a particular cultural position. Libertarianism is, libertarianism is purely political legal all right, it's purely cultural and social. And what that means, to make a long explanation short, is that they're compatible. They're completely compatible. You don't have to sacrifice any part of one in order to join it with the other. Uh, I'm not saying you should merge them. They should remain separate and distinct because they cover different issues, one political, one sociocultural, but they are very complementary. They do reinforce one another. You know, if you achieve the cultural, socio-cultural conditions the alt-right favors, you're going to be much more able to achieve and sustain a libertarian society. And if you achieve the libertarian political system and free market economics, then you're going to be much more able to retain uh, the cultural integrity, the low time preferences, the prosperity, the cooperation, um, all these things that the alt-right desires. It's socialism which produces and, and subsidizes and encourages the most degeneracy that the alt-right wants to stray away from. And wait, that's kind wait, of- you cut, out, or, uh, you cut out just for a little bit. Uh, I, the last word I heard there was oh, socialism. I, I said it's socialism which encourages the most amount of degeneracy uh, that there is because you're offsetting the cost of your individual actions onto others against their will. So once you're able to bear all the both the social and economic costs of your decisions, then that's going to encourage the type of values the alt right wants to see in their communities, and that's kind of what I'm trying to uh, the plan I'm trying to get across. The terminology I personally use for that is uh, parasitism. Socialism uh, increases the parasitism, right. uh, or encourages it. Um, uh, now, for the uh, for for anyone who's not autistic and happens to still be sticking with us here, um, would it be fair to surmise 
taking there as um, libertarianism is a political philosophy where the alt-right is a political movement. I'd say it's more of a cultural movement myself. 